Adam and his son were driving down a residential street in Napa, California when the driver of a pickup truck ran a stop sign and T-boned the driver's door of their Tesla Model 3. The impact was so powerful, it pushed the Tesla into two utility poles on the right side, one of which couldn't withstand the impact. The left repeater camera stopped working at the moment of impact and doesn't show much, but we also have the footage from the left pillar camera and it shows everything. This is the first time we've ever shown video from a pillar camera on our channel, and that's because it isn't a normal part of the Tesla cam feature. Along with the wide forward camera, the pillar cameras are normally only used for autopilot and safety features. But in the event of an accident, and if you've enabled the right settings, your Tesla will save the footage from those cameras too. In the state of California, and nowhere else as far as we know, Tesla will provide you with these recordings if you request them, which Adam did. Since all the doors were damaged, Adam and his son could only get out by climbing through one of the windows. While doing so, the driver who'd run the stop sign claimed that Adam took him out. Adam said the guy didn't ask if they were okay or even try to help them at all. Bystanders even told the guy to calm down because he wouldn't stop yelling. Police and firefighters responded, and Adam and his son were checked for injuries. Incredibly, they were perfectly fine. The other driver kept insisting that he'd stopped, but the police took Adam's side after seeing the video. Adam's wife works for the city. When he called her, she was too stressed to drive to the accident scene herself, so the city manager gave her a ride. Little did she know, the city manager was the former chief of police. When he arrived, the cops and firefighters started joking around, uh-oh, the boss is here. This brought a little levity to the whole situation, and as Adam puts it, he got a little instant cred with the first responders. Adam wants to thank Tesla Insurance for sorting everything out in a timely manner. The Tesla was deemed a total loss, and two weeks later, Adam has already taken delivery of a new Model 3. Sung had just taken delivery of his brand new Model Y a few days before driving it to work and parking in his usual spot next to the building. Sung told us he's parked in the same spot for the past five years without any trouble, but of course, something was bound to happen as soon as he showed up in his dream car. He heard a loud bang while working in the building, then immediately noticed a sentry mode notification pop up on his phone. Evidently, an elderly man leaving the parking structure across the street had hit the wrong pedal and smashed his vehicle into the left side of Sung's new Tesla. Nobody was hurt, but Sung's Model Y spent two months receiving 37,000 US dollars in repair. Cares. Given the extent of the damage, he was surprised the insurance company didn't total the vehicle. John was driving for Uber in his Model Y when he picked up two passengers at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport. He was enjoying conversing with his passengers about how nice it is living in North Carolina. While merging onto I-85, he noticed traffic ahead in the right lane, including two large trucks. He decided to accelerate into the left lane to avoid the slower traffic. At that same moment, a pickup truck far behind him entered from the same on-ramp and sped across all lanes of traffic to reach the passing lane. As John was passing the first truck, he noticed a dump truck ahead of him had its left turn signal on. Concerned that it might merge into the left lane, he slowed down to avoid a collision. That's when he noticed the large pickup coming from behind at a high rate of speed. At first, the pickup truck tried to pass him on the right between the two trucks. Unfortunately, the gap was too small, so the pickup backed off and the driver turned on the truck's large LED light bar. They then started flashing the high beams at John. After John passed the dump truck and before he could merge to the right lane, the pickup truck quickly swerved over and accelerated to pass him on the right. Then the pickup driver suddenly cut him off and brake checked him. John's two passengers were very upset and started shouting, what is this idiot doing? The pickup driver then slowed down and continued to swerve between lanes, brake checking John multiple times. Finally, he slowed to a crawl on the interstate before making one final swerve into John's lane and then quickly leaving the highway. John's passengers told him he'd handled the situation well and they didn't blame him for the road rage incident. John thinks the pickup driver wasn't a very good ambassador for North Carolina. Jason was going through an intersection on a green light when a red light runner suddenly appeared in front of him. Jason had no chance to stop and T-boned the other driver. They immediately tried to fight Jason after the crash, claiming it had been Jason's fault. A nearby security guard got involved to stop the other driver. When the police arrived, Jason showed them his Tesla cam footage and the other driver was immediately found responsible for the collision. 
John's wife was picking up an order at Target and had left their dog Rizzo in the car with dog mode enabled. This was her first time using dog mode after a new update that allows sentry mode to record while dog mode is active. Before this, sentry mode and dog mode couldn't be used together. This was also the first time she got to use the new live view of the inside of the car. While she was in the store, a car parked nearby and four women got out. When they noticed the dog, who was probably barking, they came over to investigate. They seemed amused and they even took pictures of him. We have to admit, he's pretty photogenic. This next video is also from Wisconsin, but it's from Sven, who was driving down the highway when he witnessed another driver pull off a Dukes of Hazard style jump. Along with several other drivers, Sven stopped and made sure the driver was okay. When the police responded, Sven gave them a copy of his footage for their investigation. Rob was driving in the center lane of the Chicago Skyway with autopilot engaged when the car sounded an alarm before merging into the right lane. Suddenly, a Nissan flew by in the wrong direction on the shoulder while being pursued by half a dozen cop cars. Rob told us it was pretty cool to experience the car reacting before he even knew what was going on. Snow Speeder was cruising through Seal Beach on I-405, doing his best to be a safe and courteous driver. Evidently, the driver of a Ram truck didn't appreciate it when Snow Speeder changed lanes in front of him, and he immediately retaliated. Snow Speeder told us he's a longtime fan of Wham Bam Tesla Cam, and that he and his kids love watching our full-length episodes, but he's not a fan of our short videos. I don't get it. What's not to like about our fun vertical videos? Jay was on his commute early one Friday morning when someone slammed on their brakes and caused a three-car accident. Jay wishes he could give his quick reflexes credit for that save, but he's almost certain the car reacted before he did, particularly the braking. Thankfully, nobody involved in the accident was hurt. Eric was driving to work in his Model Y. When he signaled to get into the other lane, he noticed headlights quickly approaching. The other driver slammed on her brakes and swerved back and forth before doing a 180 and ending up in a snowdrift. Eric called the police and reported the accident. He was able to include the license plate number thanks to a turn signal illuminating the license plate at just the right time. Jimmy had just picked up his Model 3 from the shop after it had been hit in a parking lot. Suddenly, he was hit by a distracted driver in a company vehicle. The damage was minor and mainly to the bumper cover, but this was a small consolation as Jimmy took his car back to the repair shop. Kara was on a self-guided tour of a Civil War battlefield in a remote area of Georgia when a man kicked her Model Y after she didn't stop for him. The man walked into the road pretending to be on his cell phone while Kara motioned for him to get out of the road. When he approached Kara's driver's side door, she hit the juice pedal and he responded by kicking her car. Kara is a law enforcement and military veteran who is very aware of personal security. She asked us to caution our viewers about stopping to help people who appear to be stranded because it could be some sort of ambush. She told us the best way to help a stranded motorist is to call 911 when it's safe to do so and let first responders handle the situation. Ewan had just finished charging his Model 3 at a local Ionity charging station when a Peugeot 208 ran a red light and T-boned a Hyundai Tucson taxi approaching from the left. Ewan thinks the Peugeot driver saw green lights further down the road and mistakenly thought they were for that intersection. Usama and his family had driven down from Milwaukee to spend the day in Chicago when he went to make a right turn on a green light with his turn signal activated. Halfway through the turn, a cyclist came out of nowhere and slammed into his Model 3 performance, taking out the side view mirror and leaving deep scratches and dents. 
Osama got out to check on the cyclist and to assess the damage to his Tesla. Thankfully, the cyclist was unhurt. Osama filed an insurance claim and the cyclist was found to be 100% at fault. Since he didn't have insurance coverage, however, Osama had to pay a 500 US dollar deductible to get his car fixed. The insurance provider initially quoted about $2,500 for repairs, but after all was said and done, the total came to over $5,500. And it took almost a month to complete the repairs. This Tesla's sentry mode was activated by a couple walking past it in a Home Depot parking lot. That must have awoken the cart demon because a rogue cart appeared out of nowhere in the right camera. The cart demon aimed straight for the right fascia panel, but the cart miraculously only skimmed the edge of the car, leaving only a small smudge of dirt behind. Eric and his family were sitting in their Model S, topping off at a supercharger in Bowling Green, Kentucky before continuing their drive. After a while, someone in a blue Model Y pulled in and had some trouble parking. Eric's wife told him, we should move. Eric just laughed off her suggestion. After backing into the charging spot next to them, the driver hopped out of her Model Y and plugged it in. Then she just stared at the charging port for a while. When she was satisfied, she walked over and promptly slammed one of her doors into the side of Eric's Tesla. After contacting the other driver's insurance provider, they found out the Model Y was actually a rental. We can practically see the pain on Eric's face if he hadn't been face palming so hard. The insurance provider forwarded him to the rental car company. After contacting them, it turned out her name wasn't even on the rental agreement. Eric had to get the driver's information from the lady who had rented the Tesla to begin with. Eric is still waiting for a quote to get the door ding buffed out. He told us his son Charlie would be over the moon to get a shout out, so hey there, Charlie. Tell your dad everything will be okay, but next time, he should listen to your mom. While his Tesla was parked at a bowling alley on league night, Mark got a sentry mode notification on his phone. He ran out to his car to find this video. The offending driver had pulled through the parking spots and driven to the far side of the lot where they parked and left without leaving a note. Mark called the police and the offending driver turned out to be the 19-year-old son of a well-respected league bowler, both of whom were on the other team. They decided to settle things privately since the damage was limited to some traded paint. The nearby proximity sensor seems to be working fine, but Mark says the junior driver will have to deal with his embarrassed dad on his own. Marquita was driving her Model 3 in Redmond, Washington. She was in line to make a right turn on red with two cars ahead of her. The driver of a white sedan at the front of the line was a little hesitant, which made the driver of the Chevrolet visibly upset. He started waving his hands around while creeping closer and closer. When the driver of the sedan finally made the turn, the SUV driver followed close behind them. This made the driver of a delivery van furious. He accelerated, huffing and puffing black smoke to catch up to the SUV driver. When the van driver merged to the left lane to pass the SUV, they started to accelerate too. This began a little dance of sorts as the two vehicles moved back and forth across the lanes. For their finale, they crashed into each other before driving away. Marquita sent the video to the police, but she hasn't heard anything back. Who do you think was at fault here? Dan says that people in Las Vegas run red lights all the time, and this video just goes to prove his point. As he was turning, an elderly woman next to him went through her red light and was struck by another elderly woman driving an SUV. Dan stuck around for about an hour waiting for a traffic officer to show up. The first officer who arrived had never seen Tesla cam footage firsthand and was very impressed. Andre was driving his Model 3 in New Westminster, British Columbia when a Volvo driver changed lanes without signaling. Andre honked, but the Volvo hit his Tesla anyway. Andre filed an insurance claim and the Volvo driver was found to be 100% at fault. 